manage huge armies across vast territories, battle on multiple fronts while maintaining supply routes, defend strategic positions while waging war on many fronts. All these actions and more are under your control on a superbly crafted region-based map. 4,000 regions to cover the whole of Europe in unprecedented detail. 400 generals for seven different factions. 300 uniforms, hundreds of different units, and real historical events. Five campaigns to play, covering more than 10 years of war. Can you triumph? This is your time to prove it. We arrived. The weather was against us, but nothing could dampen our spirits. The Iberian Peninsula, a sun-baked land of mountains, scrubland, and desert plains. This rugged terrain will be our battleground. The fighting will be fierce. The French are strong. And many in number. Victory for them is expected. Our position seems desperate. A small British foothold in the south, with Spain and Portugal struggling for power in the east and the west. All else 
is under Napoleon's control. But their strength will become their weakness. Over such a large area, the French cannot defend every town, city and fort. And where they are few, we will strike. Led by generals who fight like lions. With new technologies to aid our campaign. In retaliation, the French try to undermine our confidence, spreading lies and propaganda. But their words fail to crush the people's spirit. Sermons of faith incite civil unrest. While the guerrillero harass the French army wherever they can. And if words cannot carry the day, the people rise up and fight. Famed guerrilla wage a new kind of war, a conflict of stealth and ambush, an insurgency that threatens all French authority. We know the challenge is great, but the men are confident of victory. For as we liberate this land, so strengthens our trade, our resolve, and our military might. As we go stronger, the French grow weaker. We will be victorious. The peninsula will be free. At Waterloo, Napoleon delays his attack, waiting for the ground to dry, which will make movement easier for his troops. But the lost hours will later prove costly. The battle begins around 11 a.m. when Napoleon orders a feint against Wellington's right flank at Hougoumont. He hopes Wellington will commit his reserves here, drawing them away from the centre where the main blow will fall. But Hougoumont's British and German defenders cling on desperately throughout the day. On the morning of the 22nd of July, Wellington's army occupied high ground four miles south of Salamanca. Marmont was not interested in a direct assault. He still sought to outflank Wellington, threaten his line of retreat to Portugal, and force him to fall back. Around 8am, the French won a dash for a hill known as the Greater Arapil, which Marmont made his observation point. The morning of the 2nd of December 1805 was cold and bright with a heavy mist. Two armies of near equal size faced each other across a seven mile wide battlefield. But the Allies held the high ground of the Pratzen Heights, while French Third Corps under Marshal Davout was still marching to the battlefield. Seeing Napoleon's thinly stretched right flank, the Allies planned a large-scale attack from the Pratzen Heights to steamroller the French right, before swinging round By the 16th of October, Napoleon had concentrated most of his forces south of Leipzig. Field Marshal Schwarzenberg, meanwhile, against Russian advice, had deployed his army on either side of the Pleiser River, which would hinder his movements throughout the battle. Napoleon had entrusted the northern sector to Marshal Ney, with orders to keep an eye out for Blücher and Bernadotte. But Napoleon didn't expect them for at least another day. The Russian army, commanded by the 67-year-old, one-eyed veteran General Kutuzov, occupied a defensive position across the two main roads leading from Smolensk to Moscow. General Barclay de Tolly's first army was on the right, its front protected by the Kalatsha River steep-banked, but shallow, and easily forded.
mes soldats me suivront jusqu'à la fin. Peu n'importe quelle fin nous trouverons. That is a fine ragtag army. By God, I hope the line will stand firm. Wir müssen es noch rechtzeitig schaffen. Habe mein Ehrenwort gegeben. le droit de les décevoir ni de décevoir la France. 